Since his return to the country after a medical vacation, national leader of the All Progressives Congress meets with the president at his residence. In an interview after the closed-door meeting, he stated that the visit is not politically motivated, noting that the president demonstrated empathy like a true and exceptional leader would. Only to thank, first of all, the president for his visit to my residence in London when I was, you know, uh, after the surgery and uh, wishing me well, lifting my spirit and... Uh, I did what uh, an exceptional leader would do to uh, a collaborator. That's all. That's what I came for. I'm welcoming back from uh, uh, the trip from Saudi. It would be recalled that the national leader who returned to the country from his medical vacation on October 9 also paid the vice president a visit on Friday. Separately, the president met behind closed doors with the chief of naval staff, Vice Admiral Awal Gambo, at his residence. In a media chat, the naval staff is confident that recent efforts of the president will advance the successes made in the Nigerian maritime space. Well, I'm here to seek the blessing of Mr. President for him to honor the Nigerian Navy in commissioning the indigenously built Civil Defense Board 3 because um, it prides us as a nation that we can build something from the scratch to finish by our own uh, shipyard. After that visit, the president departed for Glasgow, Scotland, to attend the 26th Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Now, earlier in an opinion article, the president indicated that the climate crisis will not be fixed by causing an energy crisis in Africa, Underpinning that even though greenhouse gas emission is a serious problem, decisions on checking it must not be drastic. He equally called for the lifting of the prohibition placed on fossil fuel in Africa. He's also expected to illuminate key priorities and actions of the country on climate change when he delivers his national statement on Tuesday, November 2. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.